What's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and I am going to check on the rental boat. And on my way, see that? That's our RV. This is our fifth wheel. That's our brand new truck. It's a 2022 Chevy 3500 HD. It's the high country. Well, we're nearing the end of this trip and everything is going up for sale. I'm gonna take Aria and Kevin. We're gonna hop on the rental boat. We're going fishing. But first, I wanna go check on the boat, just make sure everything is good to go before I say anything to Aria. Because if I say something to Aria and then we can't go, yeah, that will not be good. There's our smoker we built. It's a little windy right now. Wasn't expecting that. Hopefully this all lays down. This is called a Staby Craft and it's got like pockets of air in it. So even if you were to hit something and totally puncture it, it wouldn't sink and you would be able to get help and get rescued. There's no way on earth I'm gonna take my six year old way the heck out there on something that's not perfectly maintained and ready to go. So I just wanna come check on it, make sure everything was good to go which it is, which means let's rock. It appears this weather's not gonna push out in time. So we're just gonna gear up and get ready and go fish tomorrow morning. But in the meantime, I wanna show you a little montage of what Sarah has been doing. She has absolutely started taking some of the most stunning photos I've ever seen. What do you want to go catch today? Um, the big fish. Big fish? Are you still sleepy? Yeah? All right, let's put on your hood. Okay, we got a long way to go. And then here, hang on to these. You want to put these on? Keep your, your hands warm. I'll put them on. Can you wait until I put them on? Yep. Should be burning off pretty quickly, but paying close attention. 
don't want to get hung up in fog out in the Gulf of Alaska, so we're paying close attention. As you can see, we are socked in with fog. So we just came running along. I pulled up next to this island. We're sea lions. <laughs> right, and there just so happens to be a whole pack of sea lions hanging out there. No, they're rockfish. <laughs> I'd say that's pretty good fishing. Hi. 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 This is one of them jigs that we found over in Nanilchik. And it's got like an articulating body to it. So that, I don't know, maybe gives some good action. And all we're doing is just take this jig, fire it down to the bottom. Anything, a yellow eye, lingcod, halibut, anything should, should it really attack this thing. We'll see what happens. Oh, that squid jig's gonna get massacred. Look at this. I literally, as soon as the jig hit the bottom, Wow, there he is. This is just incredible how good the fishing is here. What do you think I got, baby? I don't know, but can I use the squid jig, please? Of course you can. Oh, yeah. That's gonna get fired. What do we got? It's a yellow eye rockfish! <laughs> Look at that! Got a yellow eye on the jig. Right now, I'm wearing my yellow eye shirt. Yeah, you are. So. You just can't see it. Here we go. Watch him, it's gonna take him straight down. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> that release mechanism will pull him straight down, all the way back down to the bottom, and that will relieve all that pressure. Then I'll pull him off, he's good to go. When you have a fish like that, you hook it in his lip, and it pulls him down. Once it gets down there, you pick it up, and he slides off the bottom. Pretty cool, huh? There we go. Drop it down to the bottom. I really love the attention to detail she's got dropping her bait. She's she's palming it and thumbing it so that she's got perfect control of the spool. And she's paying close attention to this. I'm really interested to see how this helps her concentration at school this year. Kimbo. Hold it by the That's head with it. Yeah. Hold by a mile. Look at my fish. This is the biggest one I've had. It's my dad. You can look at this dog. What the heck? What the, the lucky chicken. <laughs> oh boy. Have it! Oh. What do you think? What's he got? What's he got? Stop! Nice fish, bro. It's a nice fish for sure. It's a really good fish. The question is, what were you using for bait? Chicken? No, just kidding. Uh, the white squid jig with a piece of heron. Hey, what do you think about the white squid jig? Really cool. I wanted the fish on the squid jig. Oh. I think it's going to be a line cut. Really? Oh, yeah, a mm -hmm. big wing cod. Wing cod or a halibut. Yeah. The, uh, all the other stuff doesn't head thrash as much. Halibut? Oh my gosh! Oh my what God. happened? I just saw him get some. What happened? Oh, you better get ready. Yeah, girl, get him! And good thing I already put it in low gear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, you got a nice fish there, girl. While she's fighting that fish, I'm gonna put down some chum because I'm trying to create a whole feeding frenzy down there. This uh, chum bomb will go straight to the bottom, just like this. Put it in neutral, and just down it goes. The water pressure will keep the bait up top. When it hits the bottom, all that bait will go right out to the bottom. It'll create all the all the scent in the water. All the fish will be running around eating everything. Money. Oh. What do you got? That's a huge yellow eye. No way. Look at that. Yeah. Proud dad moment. There he is. What is it? What do you keep reeling? Keep reeling. Yeah, oh, it's a halibut. Nice halibut. Oh my gosh! Hold on, hold on. Keep his head in water. Keep his head in water. We're out here after lean cod, but we're not turning the loose hell of it. Pick his head up. Yeah, that's your biggest hell of it, bro. I think it is too. <sighs> what did you say, Arya? What is that? Keep reeling. I'm, I don't know. On the squid day. Let's see oh. what you got there, bro. Got a halibut. I <laughs> love it. He's right over there. But I can't get right over there. Oh, yes. I can't get him right now. Hold your gaff. You want to try to gaff him? Yeah, oh, yeah. Wait. Hold on. Can I try quick? You one are. More time? You, but you got to look. You got to hook up like that. Like okay. up. Good, pick him up. Nope, nope, nope. Keep straight up, straight up. Straight up. Yeah! Yes. Aria, that's the first fish you've ever gaffed in your whole life. How awesome is and that? I almost fell. Good job, baby. These two jokers are catching halibut. I look over and my spinning rod's like, oh, 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 oh. it's like, holy smokes. I don't the know. high tide again! <laughs> What's that? The high tide again! I don't know what this is. It feels really funny. Okay, Arya, watch your bait. I have no idea what I've got, but I got something. I Hopefully it's, it's not a boot. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a boot. Aria, what do you think it is? A big halibut. <sighs> Feels like a, I don't know. It's like dead weight this thing is. Maybe it is a boot. Maybe I got a boot. <laughs> it might be my boot. Mm, come on, sweet baby. Oh, what do we got? 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 I got an octopus! I got an octopus! What? No way! Oh my gosh! Hold on! Are we keeping it? Yes, we are oh absolutely gosh. keeping this! Oh yes! Whoa! I just caught my dream fish. I have wanted to catch a, an octopus forever. No way. Don't let him eat your boot. He got dogs like a dog. He's... <laughs> Come here. He's like crawling away from me. Don't let him get away. Don't let that. 
This is unbelievable. I'm telling you guys, I'd rather catch this than a 200 pound halibut. Never occurred to me that I would have an octopus, but I just caught a giant Pacific octopus on a spinning rod and 275 feet of water. Dude. That is, uh, I've been wanting to see one of those for a while now. Oh my gosh. I wish I caught an octopus too. Hold on buddy. This guy is like getting into everything. Hold on, I'm gonna put him. Where are you going to put He's him? like so strong. I'm gonna just put him in here for a minute. I think you good. That just happened, y'all. This is what those halibut really are down there eating. The halibut love octopus and I believe squid as well. Once I get it skinned out, then I'm gonna let you. Cut the meat. So I you can take that like that. Of course you can, baby. <laughs> See what I'm doing here? I'm just skinning this thing. That, that's octopus skin. Wait. Look at that. Now, let's gut this rascal. We're just gonna come down here. There we go. Hold on, sweet baby. Let me. I'll show you in a minute. Dad, why are there brains in their head? Oh, is that the brain? No. Why are there guts in their brain? Dad, why are there guts in their brain? Oh yeah, hold on. I'm trying to figure this out as I go here. Now, if you look real close, that is his gills. So when he's sucking water in and out, that's his gills. That's where he captures the oxygen. There you go. That's a head. I'll put that right there. Can I feel it? Of course you can feel it, baby. You ready for some octopus? <laughs> Are you putting that in the octopus? Kind of. Okay, so this is all of our herbs. We're gonna do something really fun today. We've got green onion, cucumber, white onion, uh, red pepper, and tomato. So we just wanna can I, carefully. Can I try doing the? Of course. Tomato? Come on, you can help. Good deal. That's all of our herbs. Got a lot of nice color, a lot of nice flavor. Squeeze, squeeze. Start squeezing Are some you want to cut this some more? Nope, Boy. just squeeze oh. it in there. Nice, fresh lime. Is that good enough? Keep going. Good deal. You can do this. Now we're going to let that just start marinating. In the meantime, we're going to start getting our octopus ready. Wash your hands. I already did wash my hands. That Good. Was my second time. Alrighty now. Oh. Now Aria, these are all of the tentacles. Yeah, tentacles. But we're gonna use the tentacles for a different <laughs> recipe. Why don't you touch the head and tell me what it feels like? Stay. What? Oh my gosh! It feels like a 
fish plastic. <laughs> like fish plastic? Hey, that's a good like, explanation. And it's like tough, really tough. Daddy, is okay if I not um, have the octopus with all the other stuff? You don't want to eat any octopus? I think that, well, I do want to eat the octopus, not, well, not with all that. That's okay. Well, you can try it. Okay, so now we'll just put our bowl right there and just start putting cutting? in there. I'm going to try cutting. You want to try cutting? With a tinier knife. With a smaller knife? Yeah. Okay. I'll let you cut some. Mom said it's okay if you don't want to eat that. Yeah? It tastes just like calamari. No, I don't like calamari. What am I going to try? Okay. Oh, yeah. Can I do the green stuff? Yep. This is ginger. This is cilantro. Now we've added all of our octopus into here. Ooh, that looks good, actually. Okay, Em, it not all good. of it, but put some in there. Put some more. Keep going. Keep going. Ooh. Perfect. Now put some ginger in there. How much? Plenty of it. Keep going. Like all of it? Yeah, a little bit more. Right, right perfect, right there. Oh. That looks so gross. It looks so gross. Look at it. Good. That looks so gross. Is that how you cook octopus? This is making an octopus ceviche. Now we're going to add some more lime. <laughs> now we've got it all pretty much dialed in. We're going to salt it. About like that. And Stir it up one salt. last time. And you put salt right here. Dad, can you throw it that way? To plus. It looks like a rainbow. I want to just taste it. It's not even cooked. It's perfect though. You don't like it? No. We'll spit it out then. <laughs> Don't like. I like it. No. It, it's a little bit tougher than what I was expecting. But I love the flavor. Did you not like the flavor or what? I think it was the fruit, and it wasn't cooked. No. <laughs> So that's just what I'm telling you guys. Anytime she says yes or no, she's telling the truth. So hey, come here. Oh, did you have a good time fishing? Yeah, good deal. There is so much more to come from that day, but that's all I got for right now. I hope you enjoy this. Take care. God bless. And we are gone. <laughs>